many of you have ever felt personally victimized by a train delay, train fault, signaling fault, power outage, systems fault? They always sound the same, right? But what do they even mean? And why does it take so long for the trains to get moving again? So let's start from inside the train. If a door gets jammed, or if the power gets cut, then the train might stall. And when that happens, the trains behind it have to stop too. It's like a traffic jam. One stop car can pull up the whole expressway. So even if the fault seems small, the engineers have to make sure everything is safe before the train can move off again. Next up, the tracks. If a rail cracks, that's serious. But don't panic. Our operators maintain and inspect our tracks regularly to catch issues early. But it's not just the rails. Along the tracks, there are other systems and equipment, like point machines, which guide trains from one track to another. They are small but mighty. If one fails, trains might have to slow down or stop completely for passenger safety. From substations and depots, to power cables, circuit breakers and power supply units. It takes a lot of power to keep the rail system running. And even if any of these fails, it triggers a power fault affecting services. It's like when your home power trips. You have to turn everything off and reset the breaker safely before turning it back on. That's why checks take time. It's all to keep passengers and workers safe. Then, the signaling. It involves a train supervision system, check site signaling equipment, and more. And here's the catch. All these systems are interconnected and must work together perfectly. One small issue can ripple through the entire line. That's why engineers have to identify, isolate, repair, and then test everything to make sure it's safe to run again. No shortcuts when safety is on the line. Now that you know where things will go wrong, what does it take to get trains moving again?